Are you driving lots of traffic to your website through different marketing activities, but have noticed that next to no one is really converting into leads? Well, it might be time to take a good hard look at your website and make a few simple changes that could dramatically increase your website conversions. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now in this brief video guide, I'm going to walk you through five simple website conversion optimizations that you can do right now to drive more website leads for your small business. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into this website optimization guide, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and optimize your website for conversions. <music> Okay, so the first simple website optimization that you can make to convert your website visitors into leads is to turn your contact links into clickable links. So what do I mean by this? Well, basically you wanna make sure that you have either your business email or business phone number in your primary menu. Ideally, you wanna add both of these contact methods if you wanna receive inquiries through emails and phone calls you can see that this website has their primary email address in their primary menu. Again, here's another example over here for a local business that has their phone number and business email. And here is a third example of a not-for-profit organization. You can see that they have their phone number up here. Now back over to this website, if a website visitor clicks on this email address, that's going to automatically open up the website visitor's primary email as well as opening up a new message. And you can see that the email has been automatically added into the to section. And that website visitor can now simply send an email to this business. Okay, so let's head back to the website. Now for you to do the same with your email, all you need to do is link your email and add mail to colon and then your email. And once you've done this, if a website visitor clicks on your email, that's gonna allow them to send an email directly to that email. Now, if I navigate back over to a different website example, you can see that over here, a website visitor can click on this phone number. If they do from a mobile device, they'll be able to automatically call through to this business rather than manually adding in this phone number. And to make your phone number clickable, all you need to do is link your phone number and add tell colon and then your phone number. And just like that, people can click on your email or phone number and either send an email to your business or call directly through to your business. And this simple optimization makes it easy for your website visitors to get in touch with your business. As you can see, here's another website example of a phone number that is clickable. You want to make sure that your phone number and email on every page of your website is clickable. And down in your footer, make sure that your phone number and email are clickable. This is one simple optimization that's going to help you convert your website visitors into leads. The next simple website optimization that you can make to drive more leads is all about optimizing your homepage. We want to optimize your homepage to drive conversions. And to do that, we want to make sure that we have our call to action highlighted on our first page, ideally in your primary menu and another location on your homepage. So as you can see, this is the CTA button for this website, the call to action button. Think about the primary objective of your website. Is it to drive phone calls? Is it to drive bookings through a booking form? Or is it to capture subscribers and build your email list? Or directly sell your product or service through your website? The primary objective of this website is to capture inquiries. Here is another example of a homepage. You can see the call to action is people calling through to this number and making a booking online over the phone or navigating down here and clicking book now to book the service that this business offers. 
Again, on this not-for-profit organization and their homepage, you can see that they want to drive donations. They have a donation button in the menu up here. And then if we navigate down here, you can see the first button is donate. So what you want to do is think about your primary call to action, the objective that you want to achieve. What is the action that you want your visitors to make as soon as they land on your homepage? Again, here's another example. Book now is the primary objective or the primary action that this website wants their website visitors to make. So again, this simple activity of optimizing your homepage by understanding and adding a CTA, a call to action, will dramatically increase your leads or conversions coming from your website. To further optimize your homepage, you also want to make sure that you have information about your business directly on your homepage. So as soon as a website visitor lands on your website, they know exactly what your business is about. A great way to do that is by adding a video about your business products or services. People prefer to learn about products, services or a business by watching videos. This will help you drive authority and credibility. You can also have a separate page that highlights all this information, but on your homepage, you want to have a brief section to provide social proof. And again, this is going to allow you to build authority and credibility in the eyes of your website visitors. So remember within homepage optimization, you want to make sure that you understand and have a clear CTA. You also want to embed a video about your product, services or business, and you want to add social proof to your homepage to help you build authority and credibility. And these three homepage optimizations will help you drive more leads. Many of your website visitors will not make it past your homepage. So you want to make sure that your homepage is optimized for conversions. The third simple website optimization you can make to drive more leads for your small business is to make your forms simple. People do not want to spend their time filling out forms. You want to make sure that you're only capturing essential information you need in order to complete a booking. If a website visitor lands on your forms, for example, a booking form on your website, and they find that there's too many fields that they need to complete, then there's a significant chance that that website visitor will bounce from your website. So again, think about some of the fields that you can remove from your form in order to make it more simple for your website visitors to complete. This simple form optimization is going to increase your conversion rate. Okay, so the fourth simple website optimization that you can make to drive more leads is to ensure that your website is quick to load and responsive across devices. This means when someone finds your website online and they click through to your website, you ideally want your website to load in just a few seconds. No one likes a slow website. And if you have a slow website, most likely that your website visitors are not even going to land on your website. Ideally, you want your website pages to be around one megabyte in terms of the website page size. This is going to increase the speed of your website. And a few ways that you can speed up your website is to optimize images. So this means when uploading your images to your website, you want to make sure that your file sizes are small. You can use a free tool like Canva to reduce the sizes of your website images. You can also use a CDN, a content delivery system like Cloudflare that will help you deliver your content across the internet. This will ultimately speed up your website. You can also jump over to your browser and type in gtmetrics.com and that's going to allow you to measure the speed of your website. And next to the speed of your website, you also want to make sure that your website is responsive across devices, especially on desktop and mobile. The best way to do this is by simply opening up your website on desktop and opening up your website on your mobile device. Then navigate through each of your website pages and make sure that all the elements are responsive, meaning that you can easily read text elements, the buttons are obvious, and the structure of your website pages displays nicely on mobile. And again, by optimizing your website speed, as well as the responsiveness of your website, you will ultimately drive up your conversion rate. And last but not least, to further optimize your website conversions and drive more leads for your small business, you want to make sure that you have a lead generation offer. 
So basically, what value can you provide website visitors in order to drive them to make a booking on your website or call through to your business? For example, you could offer a free quote or provide a discount for the first booking or service. You could offer a buy one, get one for free, or you can create a free digital product like an ebook or some kind of guide that's relevant to your products or services that you offer. Think about this as a website hook. What value will you provide in order to capture your contacts information? And specifically for small businesses that want to drive more leads, you want to provide a lead generation offer that's going to entice your website visitors to call through to your business or fill out your lead generation forms. However, those are our five simple website optimizations that you can make to drive more leads for your small business. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief website conversion guide. Now if you have any questions about these five simple changes that you can make on your website, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Oh,